Hi everybody, this is uh, 45s. Just a few things I picked up today. Some quite obscure and unusual singles here. I got a couple of stacks and um, yeah, let's get on with it. If you hear any noise in the background, it's just a rain hitting the roof over there. Here's Blue Monk, um, Polonius Monk Trios. Fairly common EP, completely unplayed. What was interesting about this was it came with the compliments of the Squire Records Limited. So that's very nice. Now a lot of the records, well I'll show what that is, were factory samples. In fact nearly all of them were factory samples. I left a lot because most of it was just really cheesy stuff, you know, Michael Holiday and Nothing worth having. Although I did pick up things like this. Dora O'Brien, Diamonds of a Girl's Best Friend. <laughs> There's all sorts of stuff. Here, for example, on the Qualiton. Uh, this is Eve Adams and the Webb Wood Sextet. Uh, Kooky Walk. Quite a rare single, and that wonderful cover. Now this is actually a fairly, this is Penny Farthing label, this is Steel Mill, Green Eyed God, it was for re-release from 75, so it's a fairly cheap record. But what's nice about this, is it had this uh, promo sheet with the Chris Colombo and Green Eyed God here. Uh, that single is also in the collection. A bit of blurb about the bands. So that's nice. Not something you see every day. You know, they have the little things that just make things interesting, aren't they? This is quite a rare, fairly rare EP. Rusty Trapers, Mule Skin of Blues. Again, a factory sample. Most of these are unplayed. Wonderful stuff. There's a bunch of EPs. Um, most of it is a bit, yeah. Uh, as I did pick up a pinky and perky. <laughs> um, look at this. Keep Britain tidy, a message from Sir Keith Joseph, Minister of Housing and Local Government. And on the B side, Litter Calypso, JWS Carmichael with guitar. Why? <laughs> uh, this is just, just because, uh, you know, it was just a bit of a laugh. The Hole in the Ground, Bernard Cribbins. Would be uh, again a factory sample. I just thought it'd be fun to listen to that. He's still alive, I think he's 90 something there. This is a nice one the Mike Cotton Sound Soul Serenade, a Northern Soul classic. Quite a desirable single. Where we got a good uh, thing going, baby, rather, on the B side. Most of these are in their original covers. Um, Trojan. This is Paul Tracy stepping out in the light. So just a real cheap Trojan record, but had to have a look at these sleeves. And Brixton Cat, I got that one. There's Millie up here. Just not something you see every day. And this is Jimmy James and the Vagabonds, also solid centre. I also got uh, the Maytals 5446, what's my number? Now this is an absolute killer find. Night of a Vampire by the Moon Trekkers. Stunning instrumental that. Check that out if you're into any kind of surf stuff. That is absolutely killer. You know, it's it sells for 40 or 50 pounds because it's one of those. As soon as you hear it, you think, oh my goodness, that's good. That is top draw. The record that I don't think was ever really released. It says not for sale on the back. There's only one. It's never been sold on Discogs, and I don't think it's been sold. Maybe once. I am pop site. But it's uh, on Delice. And interestingly has another one of those Esquire Records compliment cards in it. But uh, I thought that's unusual. I do want to hear a view of Johnny Morris sometimes. <laughs> uh, anyone in this country will know he was famous for Animal Magic. 
never seen this. But he did do a program in the 50s. There were some sketches or programs about the Hulk chestnut in there. Now these are unusual. I did show before a bunch of, um, it was fantastic, Warner Brothers singles with the, just to be played in cinemas. Promo singles and you had the spoken word intro. Federico Fellini, La Dolce Vita, music by Nino Rota. It's actually, I looked, because I thought, wow, it's a lovely thing. I did look on Discogs, it's just a rare thing, but actually it's not that rare at all, but it's just a lovely thing. Never seen it. But what was interesting was it came with these, uh, three of these, look. Just amazing, I think. This is the sort of stuff that's really interesting to me. I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen these, I don't know. You may have come across them before. Richard Attenborough, Talking to You, SOS Pacific. You can see there's a flexi attached to card. And these are, see it at your local bank release theatre. So these are some sort of promotional things for cinemas. I don't know. I don't think these were ever for sale. This is a really good one. No Trees in the Street, which is a 1959 crime thriller. And you can see Sylvia Sims, Herbert Long, Stanley Holloway, you know, classic British tough crime film. So to find something like this is just amazing. A few of the memorable moments from an exciting near associated British film. Yeah, nowadays we just look online. And then the last one, Pia Sellers brings you Richard Todd, Adam Faith and Carol White in a preview of Never Let Go. The thrills of attention and excitement. I mean, look at that. So classic. Absolutely, I mean classic. <laughs> to me anyway. This is the sort of thing that was in the collection, loads and loads of easy listening sort of stuff. But I did pick up songs, uh, singles by like the Avons. This is quite a difficult one to get. S uh, skin diving. It's not an everyday find. And they're all in just fantastic condition. Now this bunch of singles was just, for me, quite remarkable. And they are rare singles. They all come in white sleeves. Maybe all of them are in original sleeves, so they must be how they, how they came. This is a Starlight label. And this is The Fish and Screaming Boogie. Let me show these. Sonny Thompson and his Rhythm and Blues Band. These are fairly big money records, you know. You just don't see this stuff, and if you do, it's usually uh, just trash. You know? I've, I don't think I've ever really seen them before, maybe once or twice. Another killer single, this one. This is Tomcats, Big Brother. That's a hair. Just unplayed. No one to love me, Danny Harrison. I believe this is a rock and roll one. All the world is lonely now. Another great blues one. Please don't go Dusty Brown. And well you know. Hmm. And a couple more to finish. You know, I've got a couple of stacks of singles, you know, a lot of it just for listening really and uh, are not hugely valuable things but the value is in the music there's some of oh some wonderful old tunes <laughs> but these are I'm just showing you some of the rarer records diatones this is a reggae a uh, very obscure reggae single oh baby come dance with me and Ruby is gone and, yeah. Yeah. and uh, lastly just because, oh, look at this cover. Doc Evans and the Six Alarm Six. With a title like that, you know it's jazz. I don't think it was ever sold online. I can't find anything on any, anywhere. I've seen, there's a picture of it on the 45 cat. But um, look at this, this even has, 
it's, it's obviously not even completely correct when it was printed and they've put paper printouts over the top here it's not even been released I don't think um, on Oriole but it's I believe it's more of a Dixieland jazz thing recorded in 1949 the albums his albums sell uh, for good money but it's just that was a beautiful cover <laughs> that lovely Anyway, that's it. I know 45s aren't everyone's thing, and this is probably going to go, but I don't care. These 45s, that's where it's at. <laughs> I'll see you all later.